How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belson. I'm your host, Belson. Today, me and Melanie, we're going to go for a dig of the golf cart and have a little steering issue going on in here. Turn the steering wheel, Mel. So when you turn the steering wheel, it feels like the box is stripped. So it's not a good thing. So we're going to have to pull the steering box apart and see what's going on. And it'd be so much easier if I could just remove the top. But there's so much work involved with that, it is ridiculous. So we're gonna have to do it this way. Let's get this damn cover off, throw some oil in the driveway, and see what's really going on. I know damn well there's something stripped in there. And I'm hoping I can fix it without pulling the whole damn thing apart. I am. I can't even get the camera in here to show them what I'm doing. So what I'm doing right now is everybody wants to know is I'm pulling just the cover of the uh, gearbox off. So we got the cover off, and now we're testing oil everywhere. Turn the steering just slightly, Mel. Can you let me band aid? Yeah. One poly spoon? Yeah. Oh! Ripped the side of my finger off. Decent. Alright, where were we? Mel fixed me up, she did. Mel <laughs> fixed your upper. Yeah. Alright, so I couldn't get the camera in here to show you what I did. But what happened was the knuckle from the steering arm on the box come loose a little bit, and the inside grub screw that adjusts the tightness of the steering wheel come loose. So it's probably one of those things I forgot to tighten when I was reassembling this cart. But it was an easy fix. The main arm is a little stripped, but hopefully it will last. If not, I'll have to order a new one or just put a weld on it. But I really don't want to weld it. I'm going to look into a new one because there's no point in welding something when you can replace it in case you ever have to get it apart. But I think we got her. She's a quick fix. I apologize I couldn't show you under this hood because it's literally right up in there, you chum. Hey, can you see it? Right there. So it's really hard to get in there unless I use a GoPro, and all my GoPros are dicked over right now. So we're gonna get the tires back on this thing and we're gonna take her for a dig and see if she works. Why wouldn't we? Tire! Jesus, we should check the pressure on these tires. This tire feels a little lowy. Oh, you know what I should do when this is off? Mel, over there there's a grease gun. Can you grab it for me? You'll see it hanging up. Okay, pump it. Okay, that's good. Perfect. That shock is broke too. The crap. Need new shock, Jim. Gotta spend some money on the old golf cart of roost. What is it, clean the inside of the rim while it's off, eh? Yeah. Remember, boys, always clean the inside of your rim while it's off. Why wouldn't you? I'm going to pull the other tire off and we'll grease it too. What? Never get under, under anything like this without a jack stand. In case it falls, only Dad can do it. Because I can lift it off me, you can't. If I needed to, I could lift this cart off my head. Okay, hand me a grease gunnage. The rule of thumb is if you can't lift it, don't get under it. Tip of the day from Belsa, if you can't lift it, don't get under it. Mel, grab me a rag so I can do this rim. My freaking headlights are decker, eh? I need new headlights. Hey. Nice. These headlights are done. Well, now that we're done fixing the old golf cart and everything works good, we were out. We went for a little rip in it. And it was decent. So what I'm gonna do now, since yesterday I had so much fun doing a little crawl, I'm gonna go out and we're gonna fix the RC track. So if there's anybody in my neck of the woods that wanna come over and uh, invest some time and have some crawling action, leave me a comment or look me up on Facebook and we'll have to start a little little group. Friggin' right we will. I got all the yard, you can use it and we can make things and if you have any ideas, we can do her together, we can. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is fix this part. Get all decked over. Jump, so we're gonna use some wood, some other. Crap all the way around. We are. Careful. So, that doesn't feel too safe. How the hell am I going to do that? Oh, for God's sakes. Okay, so my plan is to make this a little bit less steep. So, I'm going to build this up a little bit and then come down it. Because it's too steep right now. Oh, that's dead. Careful. You ever try to back out a screw that's bent? Sucks. All right, so now I want to take this board and stick it in, Jim. Perfect. Oh. There we go. Oh, while I'm sitting here looking at my dirt and playing with this thing and looking at the alleyway and 
where the quads and stuff go up and down. I, give it, I don't really give two shits. It's just, you know, you stop trying to dig a hole, right? That's about it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's not my property. I just maintain it. Me and Melly were out this morning on the golf cart. We went through the alley here. Two houses over. Some dickwad just... You know how you get, go by people and they shake their head and give you dirty luck? I can't just let that go. Okay? I'm not one of those kind of people. If you got something to say, say it to my fucking face. So... I said to the guy, what's your fucking problem? I didn't say that because Mel was with me. I said, what's your problem? He says, I'm getting sick and tired of all these squads and everything coming up and down the alley and this and that and the other thing. I was like, well, I got the same problem. I, I take care of the alley down at my house too. Well, I'm just tired of it. I don't, you know. I'm like, well, dude, guess what? I was like, I already went through this with some of my neighbors. It's not my, pro it's not your property. I said, I'm driving a golf cart. It ain't gonna fucking chew up your fucking alley. Get over it. Don't want you guys going down the alley. I said, but that's too bad. Get used to it, because I'm not gonna stop. All right? Some people just, you gotta put in their place. It's ridiculous, man. I'm sick and fucking tired of people telling other people what to do. It's got nothing to do with them. Leave a comment down below if you're the same way I am. Frig, like, get a life, man. Like, am I in the wrong here or what? It's not your property. I'm not wrecking it. So what the fuck does it matter? That's what I say. You live in the country, you live in Wyoming. This ain't Sarnia. Kids are gonna be out on dirt bikes and quads and stuff. You're not gonna stop. Look, there's one right there. You're not gonna stop it. So get over it. That's one thing nice about living out this way. You can get away with shit like that sometimes. Got enough people in this world trying to tell us what the fuck to do. Fuck off. That's the way we all should be. Unless it's destroying something that shouldn't be destroying. But other than that, who fucking cares? That's just my theory anyway. Could be wrong. Been known to be wrong before, but pretty sure I'm pretty much on the ball in that one. We're getting there. There we go, eh? So there's the uh, main kind of lean-to up ramp type deal thing. I'm a bobber. Now you just gotta try to get everything back to normal here because it's all decked over. I kinda wonder if I should put a support. Nah. I don't wanna. Takes the enjoyment out of it. But now we gotta try to get that back up here, which should be interesting because it's not light, Jim. Which weighs a damn ton, it does. This is almost a G-man operation. I need a ladder, Mel. Nice safe ladder. Oh my god. You just dropped my bed, I heard it fall. Son of a bitch. There it is. Decent. I don't know. Stick your mouth in there and see what comes out. I don't think nothing's in there to be honest with you. What I think it is, is remember all that old wood was there? Yeah. It's probably just rotten. Man, that guy pissed me off down the street. Why does everybody have to piss me off now, babe? You need to relax. I told you that before. My kids will work up. I'm not getting any younger. Is that what happens? People just irritate you more as you get older? Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, that will stop from sliding off. We don't want to make her too complicated, we don't. Decent. Well, there you go. This is what I did today. I got that all done. I did. I got to hurry up because the battery's almost dead in the freaking camera because I've been having it going and going and going. But we got that fixed. Fixed the fence too, we did. Remember, I had to help it across here a few spots. There you go, hey? Eh? Give you a little bit more of a challenge coming up along here. It will. And then down to here. And this will just swing over top and we're golden. So that's all fixed. So there you go. Hopefully, you liked this video today. It's kind of a little mixture of everything. And uh, hopefully, everybody's staying safe like I am. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like fixing up the RC track. And if you do, make sure you leave a comment down below and tell me if you're in the neck of the woods. Why wouldn't you? But I'm out of breath because I'm fat and I'm out of shape. But this kind of stuff will help me get in better shape. Friggin' right it will. Love y'all and until next time, you know what to do for now.